peeps and welcome back to Decorate Every Nail You Got. Today, I got a surprise in the mail. I was so shocked and so pleased and thank you so much. My mother-in-law, you guys, watched one of my videos recently and she said, hey, it looks like you could use some detail brushes and then just randomly sent me some in the mail. Like, how nice is that? Miniature paint brushes, I can't wait. So, hold on, let me get this out of here. Oh, oh, oh. I'm super excited. Um, thank you, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. that. Was very, very thoughtful of you. So I'm gonna open these up and check them out. Um, I'm guessing they're the kind of paint brushes you would use to paint, like, you know, for miniature models and stuff. Oh, this is a nice bag. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, get that stuff out of the way. This looks really nice. Ooh. Oh, you guys, it's super soft. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what's inside. Oh, wow. Those are fancy. Those are very fancy. There's a little pamphlet inside. Fine detail art brushes. A seven pack. Tells you how to clean them. They'll probably be a little bit worse for wear. Oh, it tells you all the different pieces, parts of them. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> the shapes and the uses. Oh yeah, I bet I'll be using that round for um, for some of my reverse stamping and then this for the fine lines, that would be awesome. For larger spaces, that's great. Okay, well I'm super excited about these. And as you know, when you use them on nail polish, um, you know, they tend to get messed up pretty quick. So let's go through each of these. Let's start with the bigger ones and then we'll work our way down to the smaller ones. I'm so excited. This is such a thoughtful gift. So I don't want to ruin this, but I gotta get in there. I gotta get in there. Give me a sec. Got me some scissors, some little mini scissors so I can get in there. Okay, so here's our flat brush. Wow, you guys, this grip is really cool too. And of course they're nice and stiff now, but okay i rarely have anything that i need to fill in that's that big but this would be great for paint on the nail so yay 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 let's find the next biggest one is probably this one let's have a look at this one whoa nelly whoa nelly again the grips are fantastic and let me see I got myself an alcohol wipe just to see if I could kind of loosen up the bristles without like cracking them. So, okay. Very nice. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's next. Yeah, you guys, there's just so many. So many to choose from. So let's get into these other ones. These are so nice. They all have these beautiful grips on them. They're all covered with the plastic covers. So here we go. Very nice. And these ones weren't as stiff. Oh, the bristles stayed together really well so far. Loving it, loving it. And we've got three more to go. Three more to go. I don't think I own brushes this nice. I bought one detail brush one time that was like, I don't know, I think I paid like five to seven bucks for it or something. And it's been a good detail brush. But you know, over time, if you use them on, um, if you use them with nail polish remover, nail polishes, then they get damaged pretty, pretty quickly. Okay, this is, oh man, look at the point on that. That's so fine and so nice. This, this is the brush I've been dreaming of right here. So here's another great one. But this brush, you guys, this brush, let me get all this stuff out of the way. This is probably my new go-to brush for oh, show. Sure. Look at that. For reverse stamping, this is gonna be so good to get in those fine little nooks and crannies. So um, let's at least test a couple of these out and see what happens with them. Let me get some stuff prepped. 
I thought I would share this with you. I love that they all have the sizes and um, what type of brush they are down here. That's really awesome. And then I just thought I'd show you what they look like without their sheaths on. Oh my gosh, all the glory. Look at it. I did want to show you guys a quick comparison. So this right here is the Maniology 106. Right now, I believe it's the smallest detail brush that I have. And um, you can see that I mean, I've used it a couple of times, but you can see that this brush, I believe, is even smaller, more fine, and more detailed than this. So I don't know if there's a smaller one that you can get from Maniology. I think I've tried before, but they were sold out. But in any event, um, I think this is my new go-to detail brush. That would be pretty awesome. So Maniology people, let me know if there's a um, an even smaller one than the 106 brush. I need a teeny tiny detail brush and this one looks like it is going to do the job. So, um, yay. All right, let's test out some things with the reverse stamping first using plate MXM036. And I thought this My Inner Unicorn would be so cute. And um, this would be really good to get that fine detail brush and see how well I can get in those spaces. So let us begin in that fashion. So I'm gonna be using the, um, the color So Metal by Maniology just to get the stamp on there. Okay, I got everything ready. Okay, so let's have a look at the stamp. It looks pretty good, so let me prep it to reverse stamp. I'm gonna try to keep it right where it is so you guys can see um, with a black background. I'm using the color, bam, white, because I want my unicorn to be white. It's gonna be real pure, y'all. And I'm using the smallest of the new brushes. So the round, one of the round brushes with the tiny, tiny, the one I said was gonna be my new best friend. And look, I've already moved it. You guys, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so this is super fine and detailed. Let's see if we can get in there. If I can get the very tip of that, I'll be super pleased. Oh my gosh, you guys. I always like shaky, shaky, shaky because I am old lady, lady shaky hands. Every time I really try to get in there and be serious about it, like, it never fails. Okay, and it's not helpful that I'm trying to keep it in that one spot for you guys. Although I am really being able to super duper control where this goes, which is really awesome. All right, let's, oh, okay, I did not get in there, but that's, I, that's my fault because I couldn't see. All right, I'm gonna hold it like this. All the way up to the tip of that. That's really awesome. Okay, turn it over. Let's see, see the result. Okay, I colored a little out of the lines, but that was my fault. And I did get all the way into the tippy tip of that unicorn horn, which is maze bulls. Okay, let's try now. Let's try in the ears and see how well I can get the ears. If I can get in the ears again, I'm going to be super happy about that. Uh oh, my white, my bam, white was too dry. I was lifting up my design. Oops. Okay. Here we go. Is that focused? I hope it's focused. I have been having so many focusing problems. Wow, you guys, look how detailed that is. Goodness gracious. Well, thank you for sending me these brushes. That was so nice of you. You guys, she really did. That, wasn't that super sweet? Just to, just to see that I was struggling with a brush <laughs> and then just send me one. So my kids call her G-Mommy. So G-Mommy, thank you very much. Way -ay 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 -ay. Wow, that is just super, super detailed. This is a nice brush. Very, very nice. So let's have a look a little closer in. 
Yes, that is what I call detail. Okay, now I'm also going to use it for something else here in a minute. So let's go ahead and put this one on. Um, yeah, we'll put it on the one with the ombre on it. I'm gonna put me a little Maniology foil glue on this nail. This stuff is so good, you guys. I only need a little bit, and it just needs to dry for uh, a couple of seconds, and then it's gonna easily make that reverse stamp happen. Super easy. I am gonna go ahead and get rid of the rest of the stuff on the edge that I don't need. Whoops. I need you. Maybe it's time for me to change out my sheet. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, since you couldn't see anyway, I guess it really didn't matter. <laughs> Okay, all right, so this is gonna be super tacky now, and I'm not gonna have to press hard at all to get that off of there. Okay. Oh, so cute. My inner unicorn. There we go. So cute. Let me show you guys close up. Oh, my cuticles are looking rough. Y'all just ignore those. This manicure's been on for about a week and a half, so. Very cute. Okay, now you see here in the U, um, what I like to do a lot of times is go back in, and if there was any kind of holes in the stamp, I like to fill them in with a brush. So let's test this bad boy out um, with that U area right there. Just gonna put a little dab, because I don't need much. Don't need much. No, I don't. And I'm just gonna go boop. Oh wow, that's so easy and so fast. Okay, well that was pretty amazing. You like how I scratched this one? When I was moving stuff? Oh well. Um, okay, yes, this I like this brush. I like it very, very, very much. So thank you, Jean Bobby, for um, sending us a very very nice set of brushes and i thought i would go ahead and do some some freehand nail art on this one and we'll see what happens there so this one is the liner brush i thought we'd give that one a try let's go ahead and create i'm just going to do a line just down the side and then i thought i'd do a um like a heart on this side we'll just see how how it does with that maybe we'll do some dots or something else like that i'm not really sure yet i'm just not even sure Get stuff out of my way. Oh, okay, just a line. I just need a line. It's a liner, so it should be able to make a line, right? Right? Yes. Okay. Now, no old lady shaky hands. I can do it. Bada boom, bada bing. I did old lady shaky hands. <laughs> the line looks great. If it wasn't for my old lady shaky hands. I know that you're supposed to do one fluid swift motion, but I'm just not very good at that. There we go. Oh, I didn't even make it straight, y'all. Like, what is wrong with me? Okay, let's just try that one more time. All right, I've also decided I'm gonna kind of go sideways with the, because of the, my nail is a weird shape, and it's going to be impossible for me to get a straight line. Uh, I say that, and then I just did it. So, boom. Booyah! That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Except for when I went back up. You see, this is where I get in trouble every time. I go back over it and go back over it, and then I screw it up. Actually, I mean, that looks pretty good. Put a little bit more in the end. And let's do another, let's do a solid section, but a little bit further over. Let's see how close I can get. Okay, that's kind of cute. Ooh, I like that. Okay, and then we'll draw a, um, a heart over here, but I'm going to use a different brush for that. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna use my um, the same little tiny detail brush that I used to color in the reverse stamp. So 
the tiniest one that I got. Let's try to draw a little heart with that. Here we go. Wow, already I can tell. These are much finer lines than I have been able to draw before. Which is great. Now let's see if I can make a symmetrical heart here. It's not always my strong suit. That's okay. It's okay. I think what I'll do though is I'll use one of my other brushes to kind of remove some of this extra that I got on there. Okay, that's kind of cute. I didn't do too bad there, guys. Now, I'm gonna take my flat brush, and this is not good for the brush, but I'm gonna take some acetone, so I put a little bit of acetone on it, and you see that little hangover area right there? I'm just gonna kinda of, me, 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 me. Oh, that was perfect. Wow, this is gonna be a nice cleanup brush. Okay, I am satisfied with that, so if once it gets in focus, I'm gonna go ahead and um, top coat these and let you guys see what it looks like. Here you have it. So this is what the finished product looks like. Yes, I've got some outgrowth. Yes, I have did this on old nails, but you guys can see that the detail in the reverse stamp here looks really, really good. And you can also see that the fine lines that I created both with the liner and with the brush itself um, look great. So I am super excited about these brushes. I will be using these. Thank you so much, G Mommy, and or affectionately known as Mama Llama. So I really, really appreciate them. They are going to make a great addition to my collection. People, until we meet again, I hope you decorate every nail you got. Bye!